So, what is up, you bunch of scramblers? How are you all doing? Welcome to the brand new golf channel, which is Joe the Pro. I mean, my name's Joe. I used to be a professional golfer, slash semi still am. So it only makes sense to go by the name everyone used to give me, Joe the Pro. Whoa. Joe Pro, Pro, Joe Pro. <laughs> What we what we're gonna do? So, more the ball turns. You have to pay more. You get With this being one of the first videos on the channel, I thought, what better way to get it started than to show you guys what goes into a professional golfer's tour bag? So, should we get into this bag? So, first of all, we're gonna start with. The driver, the driver you will say. Now, if you're looking at the driver, it is a tailor-made slider, 460 degree head. This is a 10.5 version. Um, it actually come, came or comes with a Diamana 60 gram X-Flex Mitsubishi Rayon shaft. Now this, now this was one expensive driver when I bought it. Probably not as expensive now and probably very behind on tech, but that is the big dog in the bag. Next up, out the bag, we have another tailor-made slider. This one, as you can see, is the Freewood. This actually has a Fubuki, uh, what is it? 70 gram um, X-Flex shaft as well. Now, I never actually really got on with this that well, but it was always in the bag, mainly because it matched the set. There was a sponsorship with TaylorMade at the time, and at the time this was actually a very good freewood. But I never really needed the freewood because it was kind of in between the driver, in between everything else. So, freewood, TaylorMade, slider, what degree was it? 15 degree. So, next up in the bag, we have ourselves, get rid of that, we have ourselves the Adams Idea um, rescue wood, rescue wood, rescue wood. I do want to say it is a two hybrid, a 17 degree. Also has the Fubuki Mitsubishi rayon shaft in it. Another X flex shaft. Now um, I can get into the statistics later, but I don't know if you want to hear them just yet. The X flex is not because I'm ridiculously strong, although I do look it. It's because of how much torque I actually put on the golf club. So we we can adjust that in another video. We then have ourselves the set of irons. Now, I'm not gonna go through each of these irons because you guys aren't gonna care. You guys aren't gonna care. These are the TaylorMade Forged RSI TP Tour version irons. All my golf clubs are blown over. Um, these were actually um, given to me by TaylorMade at the time. These are a beautiful set of clubs. I don't know if you can see them. As you can tell, they weren't actually used that much because uh, shortly after, um, I got these, I actually gave up, but these also come with the KBS Tor X Flex shafts in them. Great set of shafts, great in all conditions, stiff as a scaffold pole, beautiful clubs, I just never really got to use them. But these run through for me from free iron all the way down to pitching wedge. Then we bring ourselves to the wedges. Now I only carry a selection of two wedges, everyone. Two wedges. Now when most people come in with three bladed wedges, I come in with two. I come in with two and I'll bring them closer for the camera for you. Um, so these actually are the TaylorMade Tour Preferred ATV grind on this one, um, standard wedges. Now these, these have been used a lot. I don't know if you can see the wearing on the face. Um, I mean, they could have been used a lot more, but they've got chips out of them and everything. Now these, were great wedges. Also come with KBX tools in them. All the shafts are the same. Um, we're not Bryson DeChambeau yet. We don't have it all the same length, but they were all very good. All very good. So these were excellent wedges. I also used to flip between a set of scratch wedges and a set of Mura wedges. But once I got partnered with TaylorMade and started doing stuff with TaylorMade, I tried to stick with all the same equipment because it made me feel better. It looked better and the, the clubs are made the same, right? They're made in the same factory, all across the same place. It made sense to use them. Then we come on to the bread and butter. You know what they say, drive for show, putt for dough, right? Well, that is the case here. We work our way onto a Tor Stamp Scotty Cameron Newport. Now, this Newport is a custom one. It is a baby blue, black, Faced K 
custom Scotty Cameron Newport. I believe it's a two, um, is it a two? Studio Select Newport, 15, uh, 15 ounce weights in toe and heel, which is awesome. And then obviously to match the bag, to match the color of clothing, we've matched it up with the blue and the white super spoke grip. Now, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that, you know, this is the best putter in the world because for me it was the best putter in the world, but it's also one of my most hated clubs in the bag because this, this thing here, this putter actually controls how much I enjoy golf. And coming towards the end of my career, let me tell you, this provided a lot more hate than it did love, all right? For the next part of the video, we're actually gonna have to change the cameras up a bit. We're actually gonna, probably gonna go a bit freehand. Now we have the bag here. The next part of this is to see what goes into a professional golfer's bag. Of course, I forgot the alignment sticks. Probably one of the most important bits of equipment in a professional tool player's bag. We have the alignment sticks. So let's open the bag up. So in the first pocket, you have a golf glove. I like to keep my golf gloves by themselves, special, um, mainly because I like to keep them as brand new as possible. We also then have a toothbrush, not for cleaning your teeth, it's definitely not for cleaning your teeth. It's for cleaning the grooves, cleaning out the back of clubs. Um, I don't like the wire brushes for cleaning my clubs, I feel it damages them. So, uh, toothbrush and glove in this pocket for me. Um, we then move on to the, this is called the valuables pocket supposedly, but I don't really put anything valuable in there. We have a pink cloth, which is actually a towel for cleaning the golf clubs, which then comes with the wire brush, which we said we actually don't like, which is pretty simple. Uh, we then also have sunglasses. Now, me being a professional golfer, you think, oh, why have you got sunglasses? Or maybe you thought that, but these were actually used, let me just uh, plonk them on. These were actually used because my hay fever used to be so bad, and when I say so bad, it used to drive me insane. So I used to have to wear glasses pretty much permanently towards the end of my career. Now, obviously I would wear them if it rains, sunny, snowing, um, pretty much all the time. So these are actually very valuable to me. They come with different lenses. Um, Oakley used to make great glasses. So yeah, very, very, very important for me to have them in the bag. We then move on to the large front pocket, which actually has nothing in it. Usually what I do is I actually put my shoes in there when I'm not playing golf. So if I'm not playing golf, I will open this up. They will have these shoes will go in there. Nice, once they've been cleaned, so don't worry, the bag doesn't get dirty and it will be, uh, it'll be spot on basically. We then spin the bag around, spin it around once more. And this is probably where it gets a little bit more interesting for you guys. Um, we'll open the top bag that has the tailor-made logo on it. Now, this is what I actually use as a valuables pocket. It has a watch in there because I don't like wearing a watch when I play golf. It also has a headphone um, wallet for me. So I keep all my headphones in here. When I'm practicing, if I need headphones, I, I want to listen to music, I want to calm down, I want to listen to a podcast, I want some chill time. Headphones, super important. We then also have another selection of headphones. So at least I now know I now know, basically, where all my headphones have been going for a long time. Um, what else do we have in it? We also then have another cloth, a purple one. I don't actually know why I used to have the purple one in there, but I think it was for something, obviously. Uh, and then we have Sharpie pens. Sharpie pens. Very important, very important for marking your golf ball. Always have Sharpie pens. You don't want no one taking your shot, you don't want no one taking your ball. Uh, so very important to have that. Next up, this little pocket here, getting close to the ball pocket. This has another Sharpie pen in it. So obviously I haven't kept it, put that one back in that pocket real quick. <laughs> haven't kept it all in the same pocket, but this is where all my markers, my ball uh, markers, my actual pretend golf holes, uh, my ball liner uppers, they're all in this place. Um, and I keep it all in a bag because I don't like it all running around, um, you know, very, very sophisticated Joey. That also comes along with bags of teas. You must have teas. At all times, you must have teas in your golf bag. It just makes sense, right? You have to have teas in your golf bag. So, that's that for that pocket. Then we get on to the final. The final golf pocket. Now, this one doesn't usually have this stuff in it, so I actually have two drinks now. I have a Red Bull and a coffee. Probably not the best. Wouldn't advise it on the golf course, but it is what it is. Then you then have what balls do we use to use? 
So, obviously, at the time, TaylorMade, Shrixon were all partnered. So what we used to do was, I used to use the Pure White Z Star XV. I don't know if these are still good balls. Um, most people use Pro V's, but I wasn't massively into the Pro V's at the time. Um, I actually felt they span way too much for my liking. So, never used them. But I used uh, Z Star XV's. Very, very good. Star XV, Z Star XV, correct. So that is what goes into a professional's golf bag. Well, my professional golf bag, anyway. So there you have it. The very first video on Joe the Pro has been recorded. It was a very standard video. Um, we will get out on the golf course very soon. But before I take you lot out on the golf course with me, I do want to have a little practice first because I don't want to be Joe the Pro that can't hit the golf ball as I haven't played in six years. So if you have enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. If there are any style of videos you want to see or any tips or tricks you want to know, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I will reply to them all. And um, thank you all for tuning in and get ready for the next video coming next week. Thanks.